The Curse of Frankenstein, 1957, movie script. Help us, Father, help us. What about some food, Father? They're starving us. Are you staying, Father? This man is raving. Are you sure you wish to see him? On your own, a visitor for you, Baron Frankenstein. If you need any assistance, I should be outside. They told me you wanted to see me. Is it spiritual comfort you want? Is it? it? Keep your spiritual comfort for those who think they need it. I sent for you because I could think of nobody else. People trust you. They listen to what you tell them. They listen to me. When I finish, you can pass it on to them. Then perhaps they believe me. I have to tell you. I have to tell you. You, you just listen. I'm sorry. You think my word will carry any authority? I'm afraid you're mistaken. You better not tell me. What do you consider so important? You stay. Take your hands off me. Tell me you stay. Do you want me to call the guard? I apologize. Please sit down. I said, I apologize. I not forgive myself again. Forget myself again. Would you wish for this? I convince you. What I'm about to tell you is the absolute truth. Then in one hour from now, I shall be dead. I told you. And perhaps you understand. Perhaps you'd better start from the beginning. Where did it begin or begin? Suppose it is when I was a boy at school. Always had a brilliant intellect. The fool taught us man it may have been able to hoodwink the others, but what did he know? Been teaching the same rubbish for thirty years. I didn't suppose he read a new book for twenty years of those. My mother died, inherited a Frank's only fortune. It's a man was begin of life and work. I always planned for myself. Victor Day Boy, you are so remaining member, Frankenstein family. I know you will conduct yourself in a manner which would make your poor dear mother proud of you. I will do my best, Uncle. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Goodbye. What was it you wished to see me about, Aunt Sophie? Matters some dentistry, Victor. Uh, was about the allowance my mother made you. You don't need it. I shall continue to pay it. You're a good boy, Victor. Your poor mother will be proud. Yes, yes. Here's a thank you, cousin. There's really no need. Come along, Elizabeth. Say thank you nicely. Thank you. She's a good girl. She'll grow into fine woman one day. I'm sure she will. She makes someone a good wife. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. First of the month, your mother used to. I understand. I shall do all the same. Thank you. Good morning. Is this the home of the Frankenstein family? It is. I am Paul Kemp. I have an appointment with Baron Frankenstein. Must be Victor. I'm going to be your tutor, so I understand. It surely isn't settled yet. I thought this was just an interview, so to aside. But he was suitable for the position, yes. I had a correspondence with the Baron. He seemed satisfied with my qualifications. That's right, he did, didn't he? I bet he wanted to see what I looked like. That might, might have been it. Well, you tell your father that I'm here. My father is dead. A stick was had a letter. Been dead for ten years. Uh, it was I who advised for a tutor. It was I who wrote to you. You're the Baron. You're the Baron, then, are you? I have been since I was five years old. Want You want a tutor for your son? I thought it would save a lot of the explanation by letter. To fulfill at the best of times. Fail to see that this disclosure, the facts, can make any difference. You are to be engaged as my tutor, subject to Baron's approval. You take up position, be paid as rain by whom? By a baron, I'm quite rich. Who do you want do you want position? To be honoured her, Baron. A first option opinion of Paul was soon confirmed. He turned out to be Admiral Tutor. Two years I learned all he could teach. We went on, on together probing and an unknown investigating, recording, searching, always searching to gradually the sweet bowl search. Began to assume a single direction of it to its aim. Finally turned off, turned all our energies. Took us years of renting work to discover we see what we were seeking. Then one night, out of sight and sound of the rest of the house, where efforts were wounded, Paul is alive. Paul, we've done it. Paul, we've done it. There was a lag between the codec reaction, first of all, signs of life. There be time, there would be the time, cry for the heart, circulate blood for the entire body. If we could delay or prolong the period in which the body is apparently dead, while the liver harness is alive, we have a living body. With all the various life spark present. Think that what that would mean. 
They came to performing a major surgery to save hundreds of lives, reducing shock to a minimum. No loss of blood. Beat to the medical f- f- foundation ne- meets next month in Bern. Can we uh, have our people ready? We could, but we're not going to. Why not? Because it doesn't meet again for a year. Why wait that long? We must wait. What we've done up to now is nothing to what we would do. We only just started to open the door. We're trying to go through that door. Find what lies beyond it, don't you see? Well, go to the source of life itself. You to restore a creature that was dead. A tremendous discovery. We, haven't sh- we mustn't share it yet. We must move on to the next stage. Restored life. But life is instinct. It's no longer as significant to bring the dead back to life. We must create it from the beginning. We must build up our own creature. Build it from nothing. From what? What on earth are you talking about? Forget the whole. We must take the parts, limbs, organs. When we must build, build what? We must go to complex thing known to man, man himself. We must create a human being. Perfect physique, hands of an artist, mature brain of a genius. We can do it. Don't you see? No, I don't. You're saying what you're saying, nonsense, a vault against nature. Such a thing would only end in evil. Come, what's the matter with you? You haven't seen any scruples up to now as you've for revolting against nature. Have we done so already you succeed? Isn't the thing that's dead supposed to be dead of all time? Have we brought it back to life? We have held in the palms of our hands secrets never dreamed of when nature puts up barriers and fine scope of man. We broke through. Nothing to stop us now. What is it you want to do? First, we need a framework. A body, Nick. Last week, they hanged a man at Estagrat. Hangman, who terrified the countryside for months. He had warned to others his body was left in a giblet just outside the town. Hanging that or that to his rocks or stolen the birds. Don't waste much time, did they? The eyes, half of the head is eaten away. What are you going to do? Take the head off. It's no use for me anyway, he said in the acid. A few minutes and there'd be no trace. Huh? Paul, give me a hand with his clothes. Will you look at those hands? Great true. Club popping things, no wonder it's a rubber. Hands like those, he couldn't have been anything else. A rat's a gorilla. Don't think we should continue this. We should wait and present our finding to the Federation. Should anything go wrong? I've got it. What? Look at all the things while I'm gone. Go where? If I leave tonight, they should get back by tomorrow evening, Victor. Yes, Pill. What is it? What are you talking about? Where are you going? Going? I'm going away for a little while. I'll tell you about it when I get back. Better not touch an old friend here. When I've gone, let him rest in peace while he can. Let's have some food. I'm hungry. I thought it was the master. No, he hasn't come back to yet, yet, Justine. Will he be about time, be in time for dinner, sir? Don't know. He didn't say. There he is now, sir. Good evening, Grand Frank. Sir. He expect me. May I come in? I need some assistance with my luggage. Yes, I'm coming to say. Well, I'm sorry, miss, but the Baron told no one for this. He must have done. I wrote to him some weeks ago. Bit how happy I am to make you see you. And I'm afraid there's been some mistake. mistake. Did you not get my letter? I'm not fit to unpull Kent Bay. I'll pull Kent Bay. I'm sorry. I've seen Victor for so long. Now you know who I am. Why not tell me who you are? Lives a his cousin. Don't tell me about. Didn't he tell you about me? No, he did not. Which he was severely reprimanded. When he turns on, oh, he is away. Bet you back any moment. Shall I have to wait to long, wait to long, have long to wait? Can you stay with us long? I'm going to live, coming to live here. This will be my home. If you but pull, I, there's a victor, there's a, received a letter. I'm sorry to hear about your mother. How are you, my dear? The maid will show you to your room. Paul, come see what I've got. Let her see you at dinner. Yes, but Paul, come on. As he said, we'll see you at dinner. Lock the door, Paul. Come and look at these. What about these? Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? But Orlando's hands, the hands of world class, greatest sculptor. Where do you get them? This thick, I heard. Barbarilla died there last week. All it needed was a little bribery. You realise what this means? It means that our friend will have the highest hands of any man ever possessed. I mean, your cousin's rival. 
We don't can't continue with this experiment. Not to hear anyone. We took her at Lizard's. She might find out what she does. There's harm. She's young, Victor. Her mind would be incapable of seeing such a shock, all right. You didn't see the horror of what you're doing. At first I was blind to it, and now, while you're away in study, I will not continue with experiment. I hope I can convince you, all right. Change your mind, too. Never do that, Paul, in six months. You will rejoice in the fact you helped make discovery you'll be famous as I. No, Victor, infamous. I'm not helping you any more. I beseech you. Give it up. If not for your own sake, for the sake of the girl. You're wasting your time, Paul. Help me graft these hands on. I want to see if they take. Can't you stand? I will not help you any more. I'll try. You're trying to make them leave here. Never won't leave, Paul. The guy not really got to, going to help me. Be glad if you leave me alone. I have to work to do. I shan't go down for dinner. Make an excuse to live with you. Will you see anything else? No, thank you. That'll be all. Very well, sir. I shall be may take the master's dinner up now. Leave it outside the door. Of course, sir. I always do. Take do take your coffee black. How do you, do you take your coffee black or white? Oh, if I don't know very well. I want you to do something for me. Yes. Leave here. Leave? Leave the town of at once and never come back. Puzzle. Why do you may ask it? I can't explain, but be nice. Not safe there. Not safe? Victor be here, wouldn't he? Oh, yes, Victor will be here. But then I should fail to see if there's a Victor then I'm asking you to leave. Collecting spirits, which could be very dangerous. What sort of spirits you don't understand? I would understand, I'm sure. Please tell me, believe me. I can't tell you. I would if I could. Then I shall I'll have to ask Victor if you if you am to marry him. I have the court right to know Mary. Mary, of course you in of course engaged, don't tell you? How can you be engaged to someone don't you know? It's an arrangement between Victor and my mother, and that's a surge. I would set your honour agreement of that sort. My mother and I were totally independent on Victor. We've started about him. Now perhaps you understand I explain I understand your confusing gratitude and affection. You have no right to speak to me like that. How dare you? It's sorry you've been tired of your own affair, and nothing to do with me. I still think you could should leave, believe me. It's for your own good. Really, Paul, I can't imagine why you make this sit on a request. Not a request, it's a demand. You must not stay here, perhaps. But let Victor decide that. I'd roll it's in it is his house. Why have you gotten? No, I haven't forgotten. I'm sorry, perhaps I should have spoken to you like this. I should have spoken to you, sorry too. I lost my temper. Please forgive me. Really, Paul, just because I was ring years ago, there's no reason why you're not marrying Victor. It's always been my dearest wish. I need two, Victor. How many times have I told you? Baron, then. Her Baron, that's better. How much longer is this to go on? Meeting like this at dark corridors, making love in secret. When are we going to marry me? What makes you so sure that I'll marry you? Because you promised that because of this, her Baron, Victor. And this woman, what is she doing here? Are you jealous? No, yes, I am I'm jealous. She's not your mistress. I thought I was, she was. On the contrary, Justine, she's to be your mistress. It be your duty to serve my cousin Elizabeth. I'd see to every need as though they were mine. A different way, of course. Of course, Victor, you're not going away again, are you? I'm afraid I must. I'll be back tomorrow evening. Why, Elizabeth? What's the matter? I'm disappointed. I see so little of you these days. Uh, there are all the household accounts. You should check them with me. They'll soon be your department. I'm sure you can handle them well. I would like you to see them. It's like your assurance your of them. I like your assurance of them. Soon you'll be asking for help me with my experiments. We like that more than anything in the world. Who knows, my dear, perhaps you will one day have a go. So I have a series of buying, but you still want to work well. He wants sir, a careful man. Not often we get the imperfect in here, sir. I used to join you first to go. What do you think, sir? We do ten, we said, didn't we? Each. A pair. Pair? Just like you said. What is it, Paul? I just come in. Paul, come on in, Paul. I want you to see me. Been a long time since you've been up here. What is that? What is that? You know you're always welcome. I told you I would not, not help you in that case. Why do you continue to live here? Of course there's a little bit of a wide route, isn't it? What is it you want? How do you find it difficult giving away? Just guessing what I was doing. Never knowing how well I was getting on. The study lectures, seeing my progress. 
Then you can judge for yourself whether I should succeed or not. At last they put one by one, come and see what do you think. It's horrible, Paul. The features are not important. What happens is I keep creating a being, a live and breathe, once the scar of the face heal. It does not look so bad. Put me to this bird to you. Stop. What are you doing for it's too late? What are we doing? I'm harming nobody. Just rubbing through brains. What doctor or scientist doesn't? What else can we learn of complexities? A human naked animal. Well, doctors are the eternal good of mankind. And can never end in anything but evil. What do you, why do you say that? I admit he says I'm particularly good looking. Professor is present. One facial character is built up. The that lie beneath, behind it, the brain, the left mind, the face. Soon as the patterns of benevolence, the evil mind will be in the evil face. For this, brain of genius will be used. The brain stops the function in the frame. The face and features will assume wisdom and understanding. I told you it was the least stay at last stage, but one, the brain. A brain is super intellect. A lifetime knowledge already behind it. Imagine that. A oh, creature will be born with a lifetime of knowledge. Where does a brain come from? I get it. Now, Professor, die, die. How oh, else is to join us, my baron? Country, Professor Bernstein. It is we who are in your debt. When Victor told me you would come, I was overjoyed. You honour me, Miss Bedford. We only have joy because of you were to stay with us because the presence of dinner tonight be sure my Victor's presence. Bezler thinks I spend too much time in my laboratory. He locked those fair for hours, Professor. He won't sleep, eat the eat the won't sleep. I for one think the world would would be a far better place for of search. At least my world would would be where she can where you be right, Baron. One can spend too much of one's life locked in stuffy rooms, seeking out the obscure truths, searching with Searching, researching, like until one of us is too old to enjoy life. Victor, the professor, is on my side. You told, failed me, professor. There's a big quote you when she wants me to leave my work, but idly, wait the same time with her. Shall, indeed, you shall, I say. Victor, you're only a little scientist. I shan't listen to you. For I see the bravest brain of Europe, leave your laboratory. Come out in the sunshine, me. Woman, professor, how cleverly. We twist our words to suit their own needs. If you only be happy, you give up all your work entirely. If we're ready for the revelation you scientists make, there's a great difference between knowing of things and that knowing how to use that knowledge for the good of mankind. The trouble with our scientists is we fight to retire discoveries and hand them over to people. We're not ready for them while we get off again in the darkness of ignorance, searching for other discoveries. Well, which will be mishandled in one way. They come and come, it's not as bad as that. Surely, would you like to give, give, up, give up research for too? Good evening, Paul. We're glad you arrived in time to meet Professor Weinstein. Professor Weinstein? Professor Weinstein, yes, indeed. May I introduce you, my friend, Paul Print? Good evening, sir. Professor, staying with us tonight. I am proud to meet you. I have no idea what such an honour. Waited my turn. I didn't expect you to warn me. I thought it'd be back, best to come back. I heard a great deal about you, Bert, for Baron Frankenstein. Look forward to talk with you in the morning. I shall be delighted. We exalted the professor. No, no, I've enjoyed every minute this delightful evening. But old age comes not alone. Good night, young lady. Good night, professor. I trust you will sleep well. Good night, sir. Good night. I show you to your room, thank you. I really am most honoured to have you here, sir. I'm most grateful to you, my body, you know. I'm alone in the world, and to be guest at someone's home, especially such a charming home like this, with such a wonderful atmosphere. Very precious to me. You're very too kind, sir. I'd like to show you a painting, just before you retire. It's one on the top of the staircase, posted by my father, and illustrates one of early embraces to step back a little. You see it better. Look out, Professor, look out. Baron Frankenstein is sure expressing the feelings. All of us, and see how much we appreciate your kindness and consideration. Allowing the body of our poor colleague find his last resting place in our fa- your family vault. As you know, Professor Boyce in the Dublin communities, I at least I could do. He is a guest in my house. I thought I'd find you here. A very intelligent view. Now that you found me, what do you want? You killed the old man, didn't you? Now you mutilated his body, mutilated. Now you mutilated his body, mutilated. I moved his brain, mutilated, and had nothing to do with it. I didn't. I can't prove you murdered him. I can prove you're using his brain. Why? 
No further use for it. Give me that. Don't be a fool. Be careful. You damage it. Get away from here. Leave me alone. Get out of here. If you damage it, who is it? What's the matter, Paul? I've come to appeal to you. Leave here. What are you talking about? Leave here now. This very minute before it's too late. Paul, cool, we've been through this all before. Why don't you understand? You're in real danger. What if Victor's doing is dangerous to everyone? Then why do you stay here? You don't, you're not helping any, him any longer. I see why you stay here. I will not leave you alone in the house of him. Believe me, Paul. You're wrong about him. I am. You must be. How do you know? Have you seen him? But have you been in the dark? True, it is. No, you cannot possibly conceive dreadful things proposing to do. Are you trying to tell me Victor is wicked, insane, neither wicked or sane? So instead of his work, he sees, doesn't, can't see terrible consequences. And as a result, Elizabeth, I can't bear the thought of any harm to you. Do anything to avoid harm to you both. Victor is so wrapped up in his spirits. Paul, please. Paul, leave me. I want you to help me. You must be mad. I've raised a constructed, a dual operation. You know that. I thought I could work. But in my, myself, I couldn't. I delight it means your experiment has not seeded. You're coming to help me, Paul, whatever you say. If you help me once, I prove my theories. I dispose of the creature. How long will that take? A month or two or outposts? Outside. I, I'm having that thing live up there. No, it doesn't. It can't. If you don't help me, Paul, I shall make no such promise. Somehow I've managed on my own how difficult I do, I do it. I succeeded in reducing her to science and see how she likes it. Nothing more important to me than the success of this experiment. I'm going to work all my life. All right, Victor. I'll help you, Victor. I did it, Paul. This thing must be destroyed. Where you're getting consciousness. Do you hear me, Victor? Do you see? What do you say? I must destroy this thing now. Do you see? Do you see? I succeeded. Yes, nearly succeeded. In nearly killing, getting yourself killed. Another ten seconds and you, what is my creation? A criminal lunatic. Try to kill you. That's the brain. He attacked me, I was damaged. Makes me, it's your fault, Paul. Your fault, it was, it's not what it intended to be. I can repair the brain, it's not what, it's what it had done that counts. I created a being and promised to destroy it. I carried out, when I carried out my research, you see, you created a monster. Doesn't matter, she'll operate the brain tomorrow. She'll take, she won't take long. Very well, Paul. Victor, but goodbye, Paul. Paul, Paul, he's gone. What, he's what? So it's house, heaven knows what he's got, when he's got to. True, Paul. You must get out and find him. Go to college for help. Now I send word. We must pick up his trail. Get to the woods. You'll never, we'll never find him. I followed you downstairs. Hold on, boy. You're going too fast for your grandpa. You're sitting here, grandpa. Where? Here. Go on now. I'm not far. I thank you, boy. You're careful now. Go on, this grandpa. That was quick. You can't pick up any. any you haven't picked any. any. I said, no, what's the matter? Can't you find your way? I'm here, son. I've got to ask my stick. Help me find it, son. You're quiet. Get, got your tongue. Who are you? Tell me who you are. What do you want with me? Can't you see I'm a poor old blind man? Nothing to you. I can't harm you. Sammy, help me. Help me. Grandpa, Grandpa, look. You must have stopped here. Where did he, why, where did he tell, did he tell? The village is a make for. Lake, South Law, Lake Shore, I said. Meet them in half an hour. Well, his trail is easy to follow anyway. No, Paul. You shoot well. I done what you had to be done. We're burying for the village to arrive. We won't arrive. You don't don't send don't send a med- message. You may have met. If it's just two of us against that, you might have been killed. We might, but we weren't. No, he's dead, so it doesn't matter. The sound of ride, we're t- we're in time to stop this monster's act before it's too late. Is that what you? If that's what you mean, I don't think I shall ever forgive you. What you've done, never. Who's there? It's me, Paul. Just a minute, Leo. I'll leave you now. I send my things in a few days. As you push, Paul, where are you going? Where, what do we do? I have no idea. It's no possible, no necessary for me to remain here. What do you mean necessary? Of course, Miss Elizabeth. You stay to protect her. You're done. What are you set to do? You leave her clear conscience. I'll give you your life again. Just see, you served dinner. Just a minute. True. Beg your pardon? What, you marrying that woman? Are you forgiving yourself? You promised to marry me. I'm not forgetting that, so I did. Don't you laugh at me? Stop it. Stop it. Oh, what? What do you do? I'll kill you, you stupid old little fool. You really think I'm marrying you? You're hurting. Get back to your work. But you've got to marry me. You've got to. I'm going to have a child. Since when there is this? There's a man of truth. It's true, that's all. Why choose me as a father? Pick any man in the village. Try to sell the right one. Didn't think so. 
And when I tell her, I tell her all about what's going, doing in the don't don't throw you. So then I'll go to forest and tell them. Why tell them? to what? I told. I know plenty of if I cared to tell. What? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't like what, 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 that, would you? If you didn't marry me, I'd tell what. To what? You know what I'm talking about? Proof. Well, proof. Proof, my boy. Yeah, that's all. So far as he's really interested in proof. I won't do out my light up by tomorrow morning. I'll get proof. Let's just see and make it. it. Pass a moment, Lee, will you, Miss Elizabeth? Thank you, Victor. I'm worried right about Justine. It's been a week since you went away. We still have no word from her. I told you not to marry. I expect some village of Faro eloped with her. She always a romantic little thing. Their wedding, uh, wedding invitations come. How are the invitations coming along? Had any place yet? Yes, quite a few. Victor, it was very sweet. Yes, mate. Invited Paul to the wedding after all. He's a good been was a good friend of sorry. No wrong wrongly. Has it said yet? So maybe we have done won't come. I hope he doesn't come. There's there's something I'd like to see. The bride say see bride bride bridegroom. To so have a couple to bridesmaid. What's scribbling about? Rehearsing my speech, my dear. It's not until tomorrow after the wedding. Yes, I know, my dear, but there are things that take, these things take time. Come on, we're going home. Girls are so, so soon, come on, thank heavens they're gone. I have to work up, go upstairs. This is our wedding leave, I thought. Oh, come, Elizabeth, we're not sentimental young lovers. Can I come and watch you work in the laboratory? No, my dear, not yet. One day, very soon, I promise you. It's a pity Paul didn't come. Leave those for the morning, really, lady. Yes, Mr. Good morning. I'm here, Kemp. The Baron and Mrs. Lithus at home? Yes, Paul. Paul, we're marvellous to see you, Elizabeth. Thought you wasn't coming. You look wonderful, Victor. He's a laboratory. Been almost living there. Past few weeks. What's he doing? As if I should know. I should know that goes on behind the locked door, laboratory door. Of course I forgot. I'm pleased to see you, Seth, because, said yesterday, we wish you were here. Was it something he wants you to see? Has he? Why, why don't you go and surprise him? I will. Who's there? Paul, Paul, Paul. Still keeping the door locked? Is that necessary? You judge for yourself in a moment, Paul. Let's say, so Somebody you show me? Yes, Paul, I have. So I did put on brain surgery, Paul. Nothing to say? So it wasn't killed. Paul, it was. Needs to lie for past his body. But don't forget to put it in the first place. That'd be easy to restore weight, Paul. I want to show you something else. Been seen enough. Wait, Paul. What's this? Get up. Come on, get up. What's right? Now come here. Come on here. Come here. Sit. Sit down. That creature's super intellect. Your perfect physical brain is animal. Ask the question of advanced physics. A brain of a lifetime of knowledge. It's found. I should find it simple. Shall I tell you something, Paul? They have seen the result of your handiwork as much as mine. Oh, yes, I gave him life. I put a brain in, in his head. I chose a brain, a brilliant one, but he damaged it. You put a bullet in a wretched thing. It's your fault, Paul. Do you say that? Your fault. Yes, I stand. It won't win, Paul. Because, shall I tell you why it won't win? Because I can't carry on. I can't keep with my brain stuck by showing strange surgery. Now, if I get another brain, another, another. No, you know you will not. Paul, what are you doing? going to do? Paul, what are you going to do for your sake of protectivism? I just, I so far get silent. Now I should go to authorities and destroy your pet creature. See? Pay you for atrocities. No. Paul, where are you going? Paul, wait a minute. We're you going to gain by this. It's just as much a positive as I am. You know nothing to do with for six months. See I see the pay for atrocities that no Paul. Paul, where are you going? Paul, wait a minute. Were you going to gain by this as much as Suppose of it as I am, I do nothing to do for with it in months. What shall I say? Who's there? I warn you. If you tell authorities, said Elizabeth, first of all, the on the roof. You must go up there. But this time, I'm going to help. Elizabeth, come back. Get back. Get back. No, no, get away from me. My work's destroyed. Destroyed in a moment. The same hand that gave it life. In half an hour, there's nothing left of me. Him. And my story. With what happened? You don't believe me, do you? Just believe me. Do you hear? Visible are you. Frankenstein. Oh, 
Well, the worst of the works we destroyed, destroyed by a moment, by the same hand that gave it life. In half an hour, there's nothing left of him. That's my story. This is what happened. You don't believe me, do you? You must believe in me, do you hear? Visit for a few things I heard of him. Will you see him? Oh, yes, I know. Paul wasn't for me. Tell, he'll tell you the truth. He knows. Tell you the truth. It's true. Why do you see you? I knew Paul wouldn't fail me. Being a good friend, I'll prove anything. I said it's true, he knows. Oh, uh, my dear friend Paul, Paul, my bear. My friend, tell me, Paul, tell me what, but uh, about him, about the future of me, tell him. You're the only person to see part of myself and Justine. Girl, you murdered. I didn't. What well, sort of been saying it was him. He did it. Who? It, who did it, Victor? The creature me. You know, the man, tell them. No, 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 Paul. You must tell them. You know what's going to happen. You're going to save me. You must tell them, Paul. I'll meet you. I'll meet you. Paul, you must tell them, Paul. You must tell them, Paul. I'm oh, sorry, Paul. You m- must tell them, tell them. You must save me, Paul. You've got to save me. No, Paul. There's nothing we can do for him now. Come on, I'll take you home. All right. Jane? 